Hello all, welcome to the DevOps Planet. In this video, we will see how we can deploy our website over Azure App Services. So for this, I have already written a basic code. So I have one index.html file in my GitHub repository, and I will deploy this code on our Azure App Service. So first, let's create a app service. So type app service in the search bar here over Azure Cloud. So it will redirect you to the home page of app service. Now click on the create button. So here you can see you can create four types of app services. So one is web app, static web app, web app plus database and WordPress on app services. So in my previous video, we have already seen how we can create a static web app. In this video, we will see how we can set up the web app. So select web app. Now here we need to pass some basic configurations. So we need to select the resource group. So I'm selecting the resource group and here we need to pass the web app service name. So this web app service name must be available. So the green red button is here. It means this name is available. Now here we want to deploy it using code. So I will select the code here. Now here uh, we need to select our runtime environment. So I so it's completely depend on which programming language you have written your service. So I have I am choosing here PHP because it's HTML code. Now here you can select the Linux or Windows. So I'm going with the Linux. And here we have to select the region. Now if you scroll down here, you need to create a service plan. So that is that is basically pricing, pricing plan. So here we need to create a service plan. So in the service plan, uh, you just need to pass the name here. So let's say DevOps. Planet SP. So service plan is nothing but is basically to use the uh, scale our ser servers. So we can scale up or scale down our server. We can increase and decrease the sizes based on our resource requirement. So here you can see the pricing plan. So we have three basic premium. So I will go with the basic one. Now click on the next deployment button. Here you need to pass the configuration. So here I have my code on the github so I will say the github is so I will enable this by default it is disabled but if you want to deploy it you need to enable once you enable you will see that these op options are appear here so I have already authenticated with my account if you want to change it you can click on change account and or you can log in if you have already not logged it so once you authenticate it using github you need to select your organization then here you need to select the repository so I have already uh, written my code in this repo. So I will use the same repo here. Now here we need to select the branch that on which branch we want to do our deployment. So I will go with the main branch. Now click on networking. So that is fine. Click on monitoring and then click on tax and click on review plus create. So here it will basically review everything that whatever configurations we have passed here and then click on create button so here we can see when we click the uh, we, we click the create button it says that deployment is submitting and it initializes the deployment now it will start the deployment so deployment in azure means that it has verified our resource creation thing and now it will start the resource creation so whenever the deployment is happening in the azure it means our resource creation is starting so that would take some uh, two to three minutes. So it has created the service plan. So that is the name we passed during our configuration DevOps Planet hyphen SP. So service plan has been created. Now it will create that web app also. So let me open the service plan meanwhile. So we can see that it has created the service plan. That is how it looks like. So we have the Linux operating system here. The pricing plan is uh, B1. So let's check the other resources. So our deployment is complete. So it has created the service plan and the web app. Now click on the go to resource. So here we have redirect to our DevOps Planet web app. And here you will see we have a default domain. So that is domain uh, which is provided by the Azure itself. So if I copy it and enter it in browser let's see what happened 
so currently it is setting up the azure webex that's why it is taking time so meanwhile let's see that how in backend it is configuring our app service so if i go to my repo so here you can see we have two files now let me refresh this page so now you can see that it has created a workflow in my repository so if i go to this workflow i can see one yml file here so if i click on yml file here here we will see that it has written some steps to deploy this code in our azure web app so it has created one secret in our repository and in that secret uh, that secret it has passed the azure app service public profile so if i click on the actions button here so i can see that pipeline deployment has been started so if i click on this so now it is deploying the code so it is deploying on azure web app so it's automatically write down one yml file in my repository it commits some changes and then it set up one github actions so now currently that github action is running so it means that it is deploying our code over to our web app server so let the deployment complete so as you can see the deployment has been completed now so it means it has deployed this repo code over our azure web app so now let's go to the home page again of the service and let me copy this url again and type it on browser so you can see the page has been opened now so which means our deployment has been completed now let's me show you some features so if you go to the left menu so here you will see one option that is a scale up so just click on this here it will redirect us to the app service plan so during our deployment during our app service creation we pass one app service plan here so that is the use of the app service plan so at that time we go with the basic version so if you want to upgrade the version or if you want to change it to the production environment increase more resources so you can select the type here and you can uh, update the configurations so that is how the app service plan works now another feature which i want to show you here is development tools so in the development tools you will see one button here that is ssh so the beauty of web app is this that it allow us to interact with the backend server so here you need to click on the go now it will create a ssh connection with the backend server so in that backend server we can direct debug the things we can see the files if there is something wrong we can directly change that and we can see the impact in the uh, azure web app website so for this let me go to a path that is email and uh, here we have one folder www so that is the default folder which has been set up by the web app so here you can see we have that logo.png and index.html file so if i get this index.html file so you can see this is the code which i written into my repository so it is same as it as it my repository so that is how we can deploy the our code we can host our website in azure web app that is how we can connect with the backend servers so in this setup we need not to think about the installation of the uh, services we just need to select the runtime and the correct configuration of the servers and our website will go live so i hope you like this video thanks for watching this